almost finished. There. Oh. Bollocks, that was a bitch. <laughs> I just put it down on my foot. <laughs> Damn it, get it off. Uh. Oh. Uh, it's too heavy. Yeah. But you could manage it before. Yes, and I've had too many strokes since then. <laughs> oh, it won't budge. It's really jammed into something. Yeah, my foot! <laughs> oh, damn it, there's Ash and his girlfriend. Won't he be able to help me with the table? Uh, no, please don't say anything. It's too embarrassing. <laughs> I don't want him to think I can't move a table. <laughs> hello, Ash. It's Ash. <laughs> Come and say hello. Wait, I can see him from here, you idiot. <laughs> and you are? This is my girlfriend, Chloe. Girlfriend? <laughs> I just love the sound of that word. <laughs> I find boyfriend has more of a ring to it. You must be Freddy. I'm so excited to meet you. <laughs> can I have a hug? I'd prefer not, if that's an option. <laughs> You were right, Ash. He's so dashing. Well, maybe a very little one. <laughs> no, I meant with Ash. <laughs> yeah, you... Ooh, hello, over here. Hello, dear. I'm Stuart. Hi. I'm having such a super fun time already. <laughs> well, I'm glad that you set a very low bar for the evening. <laughs> we brought you a candle. Oh. I made it myself. I make candles. And so, not only is she beautiful, but she's talented. Ash, stop it. I am very creative, though. <laughs> <laughs> and I hear you're an actor, so I guess we've got a lot in common. Well, if the criterion you're going by is we both use soap, I suppose the answer is still no. <laughs> How's it going down there, Stuart? Oh, not as well as I had hoped. Mm, please, sip, and uh, can I get either of you a drink? I'd love some sparkling water. Oh, just a beer for me, thanks. I'll get it. <laughs> yeah, I'm all right! What the hell is wrong with you? Well, I'm so conditioned to being a good host, I forgot I was stuck. <laughs> oh, but it worked, though. I'm free. Ah, so my toenail was black already, so... <laughs> Are you all right, Stuart? Yeah, everything is ticked. Boo, thanks. He was just stuck under the table and couldn't lift it off. Poor little thing. Now, why would you say that? I specifically asked you not to. Oh, I forgot. I'm sorry. I won't mention it again. <laughs> he put the table right down on his toe. <laughs> and then wouldn't let me tell you. <laughs> oh, what a moron, right? <laughs> That must have hurt. No, not really. It was on his dead toe. <laughs> his body is slowly shutting down. Gosh, that's so sad. No, he's just joking, dear. He's going to die first. <laughs> Possibly tonight. <laughs> well, it does seem to be the only way out of this relationship. What an awful thing to say. Look, they're just teasing Chloe. I get it. I love how you both still have a sense of humour. And what the bloody hell is that supposed to mean? <laughs> still? It means you look like a rotting corpse. No, 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 that's not what I meant at all. Well, perhaps you could carve it into a bar of soap <laughs> to help us better understand. I'm very sorry if I've offended... They're just playing with you, Chloe. Oh. Yes, we're just playing. Remember, you're having a super fun time. <laughs> oh, sparkling water, how dreary. It's very scrummy if you add lemon. You just looked so adorable when you said that. Oh, I love you so much. I love you so much more. Jesus Christ. <laughs> It's like a car crash. <laughs> you can't take your eyes off it. <laughs> it's so inspiring you've both been together so long. How do you do it? Well, I mostly attribute it to the fact that he won't leave. <laughs> when the time comes, I'm going to so enjoy unplugging you. <laughs> You're joking again? Yes, ha ha. <laughs> Oh, 
What a delightful laugh you have there. It isn't irritating at all. And are you sure we can't get you a proper drink? Oh, no. She never drinks. Isn't that right, Chloe? It's true. And nothing could give me more of a high than being with Ash. Have you tried cocaine? <laughs> hmm? oh, you seem so devoted to each other. Do you never argue? Never. I just don't see how two people in love can ever say cruel things to each other. I was saying the same thing just the other day to that piece of shit down there. <laughs> well, I must go check on dinner and feed the dog. Oh, you have a dog? I love dogs. Can I see him? Of course. He doesn't move much because he's so old. But you can help me scrape the crust out of his ears. <laughs> well, what do you think? She's a dream. <laughs> I'm so glad. It's really important to me that you like her. Well, I do, and I especially like the way that her constant enthusiasm doesn't get on my nerves. <laughs> oh, did Balthazar yawn on you, dear? It's OK, I'm fine. Just a little nauseated. Mm. Oof. But he's adorable. You should have seen him when he had fur on both eyes. <laughs> Did you miss me? I missed you tons. Well, that's it then. I'm never leaving you alone again. No running. <laughs> well, dinner's almost ready. Can I uh, top up anybody's drink? Yes, please. And tell us what crime against nature will you be serving this evening? <laughs> well, that depends. Will you be eating with or without your teeth? <laughs> you better when you were trapped under the table there. <laughs> Will you stop bringing that up? It was humiliating enough. Not as humiliating as your swan dive onto the floor. <laughs> it was like Tom Daly had suddenly aged a hundred years. <laughs> How would you like it if I said something that would upset you? What on earth are you babbling about? Yeah, something that I wasn't supposed to mention with my bizarrely tiny mouth. <laughs> You wouldn't dare. Fred is scared he's never going to work again. How does that feel? I never said such a thing, and you swore you wouldn't mention it. He only earned 300 pounds last month, and that was a check for the cigarette commercial he did 47 years ago. I'm very proud of that commercial. I got a lot of people to start smoking. <laughs> I'm getting really uncomfortable, Ash. Oh, it's OK. They're always like this. Well, it makes me uncomfortable. It shouldn't. Are you telling me how I should feel? No. And I kind of wish you wouldn't put words in my mouth. Everything all right? Yes, fine. Do you know what? Mm -hmm. I think I will have that drink. Ah, now the evening is picking up. <laughs> And thank you again for the homemade candle, dear. We so prefer it to the more traditional gift of a bottle of wine. <laughs> then why haven't you eaten anything, dear? I'm a vegan. Yes, that's why I made chicken. <laughs> she doesn't eat any meat. Or dairy. It's really getting to be quite... Quite what? <laughs> quite... Adorable? <laughs> because it sounded as if you were about to say annoying. Can I have another drink? Why don't you just keep it by you, dear? Would you like any pills to go with it? Maybe you've had enough to drink. I'm just trying to have a good time. Why don't you have some of the salad, dear, that only has a little bacon in it? I can't eat bacon. Not even the edges? <laughs> oh, I'll just eat it for Christ's sake. Hello? Freddy, is that you? Oh, hello, Vi. It's Violet. Oh, you remember our friend, Violet? Hi. Everything all right over there? Not terrific, to be honest. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm in a bit of a pickle. Mm. <laughs> I only wish this were a better time to talk. I'll make it quick, then. Ignacio was being a little, um, romantic earlier. 
and handcuffed me to the bedpost. But now he seems to have stepped out for a while, and I think he might have accidentally taken my wallet and passport with him, and um, also the key to the handcuffs. And I'm not sure if he's coming back. That wasn't quick. <laughs> I think I'm going to need you to contact the embassy, Freddy. Yes, of course. Right away, just as soon as we finish dinner. Mm. <laughs> Everything all right? Yes, yeah, fine. Oh. Mm. It's empty. Oh. Too bad you can't drink a candle. Mm. <laughs> Perhaps that's why guests usually bring wine. Mm. <laughs> I'm really enjoying the salad, Stuart. Everything's great, isn't it, Chloe? I wouldn't know because I can't eat anything. Here. It's bread. <laughs> um, actually, that sausage bread, dear. I'd like to go, Ash. We can't go. It would be rude. I don't think it's possible to be rude here. <laughs> My glass is empty, Stuart. Why is that? I don't know. Mm. I'm not a waiter. <laughs> You're not? Because you were one when I met you. What's it, Freddy? I'm warning you. You shouldn't be drinking. I like it. It's the only thing that makes your voice less grating. I hate Stuart's voice, too. Your candle smells like shit. Actually, I think that's Balthazar. I only make those stupid candles to get away from you. You're a needy, suffocating little man-boy. And you're a drunk. Oh, now she's interesting. I don't like the way you are when you drink. It's ugly. You remind me of my mother before she went to prison. Didn't you also tell us that your father was in prison? This might be why you're waking up screaming every night. I'm sick of behaving how you want me to behave, you pathetic twat. I only want you to behave like a human being, not a drunken slag. Do you hear how they talk to each other? Kill me if that's ever oh. us. What men? <laughs> Could she be talking about us? Don't say that about my friends. Your friends? You're 22. So what? I thought he was 35. <laughs> They've been horrible all night. Why do you even spend time with them? Because I enjoy their company. Unlike yours. <laughs> you prefer their company to mine. These two. The two of them. Yes, she's definitely talking about that. I'm going to be somebody, Ash. I'm going to make soap and candles and cupcakes and handbags and open a shop one day and sell them all. This sounds like it's going to be a very confusing shop. You just want me to support you, but you don't support me. You don't even know what it is you want to do. That's because I haven't figured it out yet. I can be anything I want. Right, Freddy? Yes, of course you can, Ash. Are you serious? You're really going to listen to this washed-up old actor that no-one's ever even heard of? All right! <laughs> that is quite enough. I'll have you know that Freddy Thornhill has worked on the stage, screen and television for over 50 years. He has had an extraordinary career. So what if he's hit a bit of a dry spell? He is by no means washed up and never will be. So do not presume to tell us anything about our lives, young lady. We will not be talked down to in our own home. We are accomplished men, quite capable of anything. Should I show them out? Please. <laughs> I think I'm stuck again. 